Guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. This is my first vlog. Um, and, you know, I'm going to be going over into more details about this last week. So if you haven't been here yet, my name is Sabrina and I help entrepreneurs like yourself to turn ideas into digital products and also to elevate your brand. So I hope you subscribe, get notifications, that your notification bell on, turn it on so you know every time I put up any new videos. So let's get started with this wonderful week that we had, even though most of people are locked up at home, I am trying to stay productive every single day. And the days that I'm not, you know, I'm just wishing it was, but I'm working as much as I can, doing everything that I can. And this week has been a good and bad. I thought I was gonna have more traction with my Etsy store. Um, if you haven't watched the previous videos, um, I started an Etsy store and I, my goal was to really sell digital products because I do have a lot of experience with real estate. Uh, I am a realtor and I have been a realtor for the last 10 years. And since I started with marketing and design, I figured I could translate my passion for the arts into templates and digital products. So the idea was born and I saw an opportunity with Etsy and I started, let's say, uh, let's say almost a month, I guess, because time is flying by. So my shop starting to take, like start to take form and I guess I'm starting to get more sales, but I, I wouldn't be super excited because even though I watch YouTube videos and people are showing their profits like, oh, I made $2,000 in two weeks. And I'm like, okay, why am I not <laughs> making $2,000? But I guess everybody has a different experience. I'm new doing this, but it's not a difficult process. It just takes a lot of commitment for you to be on top of what you're doing in your work. So I want to actually go over it. I took a couple of notes from this last week and I kind of want to go over with you guys. So first thing is that reviews. I got my first, my second review and I talked about my first review. My first review, I wrote it. I bought my own product and wrote my first review because I really believe in myself. But then again, I wanted to have my five stars in my blog, in my, in my Etsy store. So I made sure that I wrote my first review. So that one doesn't count. So I count my first review, which happened this week as well, uh, from somebody and she wrote this. And that made my day. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I have never been so happy besides seeing sales coming in, but that made my day. Feeling that somebody enjoyed what I created, it's feeling that I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's pretty special because you put it in the work and everything that you're doing, you want to be helping other people. So every time somebody comes in and just tell you that they love your product, it makes you want to, you know, praise the world, praise the Lord, and just really, which is always praise the Lord, but really just makes you feel amazing. So that was really cool this week. And then another thing that I also uh, did was to sign up for Etsy Plus. Uh, if you haven't heard about Etsy Plus, I think Etsy Plus kind of like what I noticed throughout this week since I started with Etsy Plus, I saw more traffic. I did see more traffic in my store, more eyes in my store. I think the numbers jumped. Um, but then again, I don't know if that's because I'm also paying for advertisement. I'm also paying a dollar per day for advertisement. So it's kind of like, yeah, you didn't miss. You have no idea if it really, that's the reason why. But in the end, I, I think I'm going to wait for like a couple of weeks, let's say a, a month or two until I get a good indication if my Etsy Plus is really working and I will continue to create more products and see how that translates. Now, another thing about products, another experience that I had, I'm in real estate, right? So I had friends of mine going into my store and taking a look at my products because I want to receive feedback. And yesterday I was in a call with another girlfriend of mine and she's like, Sabrina, I did not understand this product. Like, when do I use this? What? It's always important to get feedback from people that are in the industry and maybe possible clients 
because that way I can go back to my advertisement because every single picture that I put in that product description and that product uh, um, that product page, it, it will be an explanation exactly what it is that I'm trying to sell. And when it comes to digital products, you want to make sure that your product is well explained. And I think I did not do a good job with that. Um, and as she was explaining to me her reasons, I was just like, hmm, you know what? I need to go back to it and really start kind of changing because I see what she's saying. And if she's seeing that, somebody else is also seeing that. And I want to make sure, and I haven't had any sales from that product yet. And I did have a good amount of impression. Some people really saved the product uh, uh, because Etsy will, you know, they can save the product for later on but I haven't had any purchases yet. So I'd say, okay, I'm gonna modify, I'm gonna go back to it, I'm gonna change and add better uh, pictures and description of when should you use that type of form, or when should you use that type of uh, template and see within like the next week or so if I start getting some sales. Because, you know, it's a nice product, it looks nice, it's, it's kind of like a, a no-brainer kind of product, but I cannot assume that other people would know what I'm selling. So, um, I suggest for you to kind of, if you want to look into your store, ask other people to come in, take a look at it, critique and tell you if that makes sense or not. So another thing with the layout of my store besides the products is the banners. I just dropped a new video on Monday uh, for how to create an Etsy banner. And I was thinking about that just like with the YouTube. With YouTube, we have our banner saying every single week we're gonna have a new video. So every time somebody comes in to my YouTube, YouTube, <laughs> you guys know that you're gonna have a video every single week. So, you know, you can expect that if I'm consistent, if I'm always delivering. So I figure with my Etsy store, I should do the same thing. I'm gonna be putting in like every Wednesday, new product release. It's a digital product, so I can work on new products every single week. Every store is different. If you're selling something that's physical, then obviously, you if you know you're gonna be getting merchandise on the X day, and you're gonna have new products released on, let's say, on Friday, I think you should have in your store. It creates accountability for you, and also let your customers know that every time that day of the week, they're gonna have a new product that they can come in and it, motiva it motivates that person to come in and take a look if they're interested and if they're following you and you. And also your email list as well. If you start building that email list, which is super important, then obviously you can advertise to them and send them an email after you receive, you know, you put in a new product. So you start a custom, and a custom, a custom, oh my God, a custom your, your clients to come back to your store a certain day, just like you will come back to watch my YouTube videos, which I hope if you like in this video, go ahead and thumbs up, subscribe and share with somebody that if you find this to be valuable to you. So, uh, so in a nutshell, we went over like the banners, the product, um, Etsy Plus. Uh, if you guys are using Etsy Plus, go ahead, write it down below. I wanna see it. I like Etsy Plus so far. Um, I like even the fact that I can change the layout and add additional banners. Now that we're talking about banners, uh, I can add additional banners to my store and I figure I can add the first one and then the second one talking about new product release and other things and also getting reviews. Um, I'm also planning to, in regards to reviews because reviews are so important and it gives, it gives you credibility and makes other people trust you. So I care more for reviews than for sales. So if you ever sell, you get a review, it's perfect. It's, it's, it speaks volume about your business. So for every review or actually for every sale that I had, I was thinking about reaching out and requesting a review if they haven't reviewed the product and also ask for feedback because it doesn't hurt. If somebody's not happy, sometimes they're not gonna talk about it and you're not gonna know if you have to improve or anything. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, subscribe, I already said that. But come on guys, I wanna grow this channel, I wanna help a lot of people, and if you have a shop that you want me to take a quick look at it and we can collaborate, just let me know. Drop your comments below. 
Um, and that's pretty much it. So that's it for vlog number one. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'm gonna be working into a new product. You can follow my store also down below. I'm gonna put a couple of links. And if you have any questions, let's stay in touch and build community. Follow me on Instagram and have a wonderful, wonderful week and stay safe at home, okay? While you're we are all going through these crazy times. All right, have a great day, guys.